The Iceberg Thermal Ice Slate X5 is the smaller and cheaper variant of the Iceberg Thermal Ice Slate X6 CPU cooler. The main feature of both of these CPU coolers is obviously the way they look. The light blue color and the angular shape of the heatsick and fan shrouds do make these CPU coolers stand out from the crowd. The Ice Slate X5 is priced at around 55 US dollars or the equivalent in euros, and for that price, it has a lot of competition from more established brands. And we shall see how good the Ice Slate X5 is when we taste it in this review. As I've said previously, the highlight of this CPU cooler is the way it looks, and while the color might not be for everyone, the different shape of the shroud is. And when we have such a shape and an RGB fan, we get a good looking CPU cooler. Removing the fan shroud and the heatsink shroud is very simple as these things are attached to the heatsink with simple plastic clips. And just like the Iceleet X6, here is the first issue of these CPU coolers. The front fan is not covered by a shroud. The shroud is the fan frame, which makes this fan very hard to replace with a different fan that is not using the same mounting system. This is disappointing to say the least as this makes this CPU cooler very hard to service in the long run. Not only that, but you can't add another fan for a push-pull configuration either. The cooler has a height of just 159mm, a length of 115mm and a width of 146mm, and it weighs in at just 852 grams. These specs do make the Iceleet X5 a good choice for a mid-range system, especially one that is housed in a case that will restrict a lot of the more performance-oriented CPU coolers. With two plastic shrouds removed, we get to see that the Iceleet X5 has a simple metal-made heatsink. This fortunately has an offset design which pushes the front fan away from the RAM slots of the motherboard. This is a simple and effective way to increase the clearance of the cooler around the RAM slots. The heatsink has a single tower design and has 49 cooling fins made from aluminum. Each of the cooling fins has a thickness of around 0.4mm and have their edges smoothed out. The top part of the heatsink has this lovely linear brush texture, however you will only get to see this when you install the cooler as the plastic shroud will cover the entire heatsink and thus hide this. The Iceleet X5 uses 5 copper made heat pipes, each with an outer diameter of 6mm. The heat pipes are nickel plated for increased reliability and because it looks good. Speaking of nickel plated copper, the base plate of this CPU cooler is made from the same material as the heat pipes and has a smooth surface with a mirror like reflection. Also, the heat pipes are making direct contact with the back side of the base plate. Going back to the heat pipes, they are thankfully arranged in the standard U shape to help dissipate the heat and make good contact with all cooling fins. Unfortunately, the heat pipe endings are not symmetrical at all, and it's a blessing that they are covered by the plastic shroud, because otherwise they would have broken the whole aesthetic of the cooler. The fan used on this cooler is made specifically for the Ice Slit CPU cooler series. It has a custom mounting system, which is basically just a set of plastic clips, and as I've said previously, the biggest issue with this fan is that it cannot be replaced with something else. The impellers of the fan have a good design that is made more to enhance the RGB illumination of the fan than it is to actually perform well on a heatsink. This is obvious thanks to the white color of the impellers and the hub assembly. Also, the shape of the impellers is narrow instead of wide, which is preferred for a high static pressure fan. The cable of this fan is plenty long and has two connectors, one standard 4-pin for powering the fan and another 3-pin connector for the addressable RGB LEDs installed inside the fan hub. Outside of these features, there are no clear identifications of the fan or the bearing used. There are no serial numbers or model numbers present, just the name of the cooler on the back side of the rotor. Now that we know what CPU cooler is being reviewed, it's time to see what is included with the Iceleet X5. And just as I've said in a previous Iceberg Thermal review, these coolers are packaged like high-end CPU coolers, and not something that you'd paid $60 for. The box is basic cardboard and quite understated, however it opens up in all directions and it reveals the CPU cooler in the middle, which is covered by this good-looking and very thin foil. 
The accessories found here are a user manual, a small tube of thermal compound, a plastic made backplate, plastic spacers, metal nuts, mounting arms for both Intel and AMD platforms, and some double threaded screws. And that's it. A long screwdriver would have been nice to see included as you will need one when installing the CPU cooler. Installing this cooler is simple, thanks to a mounting system that I have seen before or at least something close to it. First, you take the bake plate and adjust the studs that are pre-installed on it. You must adjust them to match the spacing of your socket. Afterwards, you place the back plate at the back of the motherboard, then place these plastic spacers over the studs at the front of the CPU socket. Afterwards, you install the mounting arms and secure them with the included metal thumb screws, and you finally install a heatsink onto the CPU, but not before you apply the thermal compound. Finally, you install the fan and fan shroud and connect everything to your motherboard and you're done. With the iSleet X5 installed, we have to agree that this is a great looking CPU cooler. The blue color is different for sure, I like it but a lot of people won't. It's the disadvantage of having a different color like this and a color that is not neutral, such as grey, black or white. The RGB LEDs installed inside the fan rotor do make the cooler look better and if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that me praising RGB is a rare thing, but this CPU cooler manages to make RGB look good and not tacky. In terms of the clearance, for the RAM modules is great, there is a good amount of space between the fan and the RAM slots and there is no need to even measure this because there is just that much space. The graphics card screens however could have been better. With around 20mm of space left between the graphics card and the side of the CPU cooler, it's not that great especially for a CPU cooler of this size. Before we test the cooler and see how it stands next to other modules, you will get to hear a sample of the fan spinning at its maximum speed. This is done because while a decibel value is useful and still used in my reviews, it does not take into consideration external and unwanted noises such as bearing ticking on the fan, vibrations of the fan on the heatsink or wind noise. And to nobody's surprise, this cooler sounds identical with the Iceberg Thermal Iceleet X6, because it's the same fan, it has the same number of cooling fins and the heatsink has the same shape. With the fan running at its maximum rated speed of 1850 RPM, the Iceberg Thermal Iceleet X5 reached a maximum noise output of 43 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler. The testing of each CPU cooler is done using the Intel i9 9900K which is running at both its factory settings and frequency and then it is overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The testing is done in two stages. The first test uses the Intel Burn Test V2 benchmark, a benchmark which places a good load onto the CPU, something which you will encounter in your daily life when you're playing a modern video game for example. And in this test, the iSpec Thermal iSleet X5 reached a maximum temperature of 68 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5GHz on all cores and 62 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory frequency. All this with the ambient temperature set at 26 degrees Celsius. This might place the iSpec Thermal iSleet X5 right behind the iSleet X6 and right in front of the Be Quiet Darrock 4, but the Darrock 4 is much better when we take into consideration the noise output. Moving on with the second test, which uses the system stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark places an unrealistically high load on the CPU, something which you will rarely if ever encounter in your daily usage, unless you are doing heavy video rendering and the CPU is used as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the iSleet X5 reached a maximum temperature of 94 degrees Celsius, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and 71 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory frequency. This places the CPU cooler right below the thermal throttling point of this CPU and right behind coolers such as the Noctua NH-U9S. Looking at the results, it's clear that the iSleet X5 is around 1 to 2 degrees worse performing than the iSleet X6, and it makes sense as the only differences between these two CPU coolers is, well, just one heat pipe. The iSleet X5 has just 5, while the iSleet X6 has, well, 6. Ok, so what's the point then? The point of this CPU cooler especially when compared to its bigger variant, the iSleet 
X6. Simply, the pricing. The iSleet X5 is on average 5 US dollars cheaper than the iSleet X6. Does that make sense from a practical point of view? Not really, because these coolers are priced higher than I would have liked them to be. With this performance in both temperatures and noise output, the iSleet X5 should have been around 40 US dollars, not 55. Is this a bad CPU cooler though? No, it is not. However, it's just another thing that you buy just because you like the design and nothing more. And some will do it, as we have people spending upwards of 30% more just for more RGB on their RAM kits. So buying this type of CPU cooler just because you like how it looks is nothing weird. The iSpec Thermal iSleet X5 has a great build quality, on par with what other manufacturers can offer. The design is unique. The shape of the shroud is good and the quality of the plastic is not bad either. However, the biggest letdown of this cooler is the fan. It's pretty clear that this is not a fan design for high static pressure and the fact is you can't replace it or even service it, which makes things difficult. If you like the design, then the iSleet X5 is a good choice for a mid-range gaming system. It can even handle some overclocking on an i9-9900K, although I wouldn't recommend that. If you don't care that much about how a CPU cooler looks, then there are other models out there that are better, cheaper and can be serviced in the future. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.